have the new operator band. You can basically say that is um, a streamlined version of our MK4 radar band. It has some features are the same. For example, the knee pad solution with the buttonholes for the D3O Trust HP knee pad. And as you can see, we have, for example, no longer the pocket on this position. We have a different uh, cargo pocket, which, you, which has a flap here, which has uh, also possibility to stow smartphone or another gadget for compact size. We have new, we have some uh, additional pockets on this position. You can use it for a folder or for pistol magazine for very fast access. We still have the uh, waist adjustment, of course. We have now, for this model, we have snap buttons and a lock zip. We have on the inside, we have uh, two pockets which are only accessible from inside, where you can put an ID or a credit card inside on the front or on the back side, the passport. This is not accessible from outside, so nobody can grab that stuff from you. We have uh, here the update of our Mark III combat shirt. We have switched from Cordura base layer, no melt, no drip fabric, to FR knit fabric. We have released the breacher hood, which is removable fast. It is not included, it can be ordered as an additional accessory. Also new for this year, it will be released in uh, mid of April, we have our field chart. It is a short version of the operator pan, which is a little bit streamlined in, uh, in, in, in some details. We have, uh, due to popular demand, we have released the Aviseda fleece jacket without hood, so it is now available as a hoodie and a normal fleece jacket. So, upcoming in end of April, beginning of uh, May, we will have the Milvago back in stock and additionally a version without hoodie, just as a normal fleece jacket. Hello, my name is Phil from Tog. I will show you our weapon accessories with the AOG. We developed it on demand of our SUF units. Um, it's essentially a handguard which, with the M-Lock system from Magpul. Uh, we have a licensed system. That means all the, the measurements on the rails have um, specific tolerances. So any accessories you get, which is M-Lock, will fit this system. Here, for example, we have um, an angled foregrip and one rail. I will show you how the system works. By use of this tool, you can open it, and it's just a quarter turn. There are these little nuts; they'll make a, a clockwise, um, clockwise turn when you mount it, like this. You make the turn, so it's. Turning around, locking and tightening. Rock solid. Um, the handguard is designed so you have an enhanced weapon control. It's quite lightweight. We use a uh, very good aluminium and we do a surface treatment which accords to mill. Um, it's uh, 8625F type 3 plus 2 hardcard. That means. Yeah. There is no way to scratch it. You can paint it with everything. Yeah, yeah. As I said.
you still are able to adjust the gas system and the use of compensators and muzzle devices is still possible. Uh, yeah. Our muzzle device here is the blast forward compensator. That means it's made for close quarter combat situations. When you are in a firefight in uh, urban areas, working in buildings, you, um, with a normal compensator, flash hider, you may distract your colleagues, your comrades. Uh, with this system, the blast is going forward and it still has um, surfaces inside where you have less recoil, so in fully automatic fire or in bursts, you have uh, better control of the rifle. Uh, this is our scope guard. Um, we made for AOG A1 and A2 for the standard 1.5 times uh, Stahl scope. Uh, it's made of, um, of glass fiber reinforced polymer. Uh, we have also an NIR, tre NIR treatment like with all our products. So even with a night vision device you have the same infrared uh, refractive, um, the same infrared reflection as with uh, as in a normal normal day, yeah. mm -hmm. like. um, of this system you can mount side rails uh, we de developed it for the lightest weight so yeah. if you want, want to mount just the name point or just the um, UTEC or any uh, red dot side you're able to just put it on the top and you don't need rails at the side but if you want uh, to mount a flashlight you can put um, a nut inside and just put the screws here and you're totally flexible where you, where you do it. We left this rail, we left just for better operating control. So you don't even think of mounting an accessory here and hurt your head. Um, yeah, what we have as well is the quick detach sling swivel. Also for a standard AUG, you can change this one, you can change this one. Just like popping it out and if you use a one-point sling, for example, here we have the Mac pool. You just pop it in, use it as a one-point sling or as a two-point sling. Uh, the system is compatible with uh, CAA tactical slings. We have also um, made it for Mac pool, of course. Uh, I think Leaper is working, uh, Ultor is working, Blue Force Gear is working, so it's a quite nice system. Uh, the hard part was the testing and the material of this rear sling swivel because they have from the construction they are very thin in the middle so with the normal stuff they sometimes tend to break but we made quite rough testings and yeah it came out quite well.